know how I got here. I don't know who I impressed. I don't know how the golf gods are smiling down on me, but somehow, some way, someone made the decision that they wanted me here at Koanaki Club in Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. And let me just say, this is unlike any club I have ever been to in my entire life. I'm here for three days, I get to experience the whole thing, and I'm gonna be totally honest, most of you watching this video, you're probably not the target market to join a club like Koenaki. I certainly am not. But you might be looking for something to aspire towards, or maybe you are in the target market, and if so, if you decide to join, please give me a call. I would love to come back and be your guest. But honestly, for most of you, you might just want a little bit of a sneak peek into a place few people will ever get to see. And that's what I'm gonna give you today. I'm giving you 10 things that I love about Koenaki that make it one of the coolest private clubs I have ever been to. We're gonna have some fun with this one, so if you're into it, Let's do this thing. All right, so why don't we start out with the most obvious thing. The golf course at Koniki is fantastic. It's a Reese Jones design. The greens are super fun, and you've got this insane lava rock landscape that you don't really see anywhere other than here on Kona. And considering this is the first and only golf course I've played in Kona, it is still blowing my mind every single time I step out here. Got ourselves a birdie butt. Another thing I love about this club, that's a good shot, is it's casual. You wanna play barefoot? Play barefoot. You wanna wear a t-shirt? Wear a t-shirt. As long as you're being respectful of everybody else and it's not illegal, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And if you're at a club in Hawaii, of all places, casual just kinda seems like the way you wanna be, but surprisingly, not all clubs are like that. So this right here on the 14th hole is one of the coolest approach shots I have ever played. There's all of these ankyline ponds that basically the water comes in and out as the tide goes in. There's lava everywhere. It is super unique. I've never seen anything like it on any other course. It's so cool. There's ancient lava tubes all over this course. And as everybody knows, one of the coolest features you can find at any golf course is the comfort station, or as they're called here, the golf hallways. There are three of them, each one stocked with different things. And let's just go take a look at a little sampling of what this one has. You've got homemade beef jerky, you've got shrimp chips, you've got ahi jerky, you've got all sorts of local Hawaiian snacks. You have a margarita machine with the toppers. And then once you get in here, it just keeps going. And then you've got the pineapple vodka. And this is just one of three that you can come to whenever you want, except for the 12th hole, that's the sunset hole. You can't go there until after five. Oh darn, but speaking of which, it's after five. I'll see you later. Okay, and here we are at the sunset golf hall. But you didn't think I was joking, right? Huh? Take advantage of all the cool stuff I can. Let's go check it out. All right, here we got a completely different assortment of snacks. We have these like cheesy taquito things that I had earlier, absolutely delicious. And then we're in Hawaii, you can't come to Hawaii without getting a Mai Tai. They do things right here. The hallways here are spectacular. They range from two, three, four bedrooms and there's a holiday membership. There's 96 of them, I believe. They're actually currently all spoken for. There's a wait list, but this gives you 45 nights at one of these 17 units and they're pretty insane. They are fully stocked. They've got everything you need. They are beyond luxurious. And I mean, let's just look at a couple of the things they've got here. They stock the freezers with Haagen-Dazs ice cream. I mean, the place even comes stocked with these stupid peanut butter pretzels. Do you know how addicting these things are? I mean, it seems like a small thing, but they're, they're absolutely delicious. And I've already eaten like half of them. The fridge comes fully stocked with beers they brew here on property. We're gonna get to that a little bit later, but they've got so many amenities that you kind of never want to leave. I just want to stay and hang out here all day, which is ridiculous considering how much is out there. Okay, just quick poll. When was the last time you saw an infinity hot tub and a cold plunge right on the ocean? Never? Yeah, me either. I'm a fan, for the record. Oh, yeah, and the, almost forgot. There's a secret cigar lounge slash poker room, because why would there be? When was the last time you went to a club that had its own 21 seat movie theater? Uh, every night, they got a different movie. If I wanna watch the Masters on this giant TV, 
I can probably do that. Hell, if I want to watch my YouTube channel, I bet you I could turn someone to put it on here so I can watch myself in like 10 feet of glorious Sean. That, eh, maybe we shouldn't do that, but I haven't actually sat in these chairs yet. They are remarkably comfortable. Oh, did I mention the four lane state-of-the-art bowling alley? Because that's a thing. Oh, by the way, the club has its own brewery. Yeah, I've been to clubs that have a signature IPA or maybe a beer that they've partnered with a local brewery. This place has its own entire brewery. They've got eight beers on tap. They have 27 taps around property. They have their own canning line. But the only way to get a Koenigi Brewery beer is here. They don't distribute anywhere else. So it truly is their own private brewery. And head brewer Steve Balzer has free reign to do whatever he wants. So not only do you have the eight beers here, he's got a bunch of other stuff that I've just gotten to taste that he's just kind of experimenting with. So members here, they're constantly getting new special experimental beers. That's about as cool as it gets. I don't know what else to say. There's a brewery at the club. It's the only place to get the beers. This is, sign me up. That's it, take my money, I'm in. Oh, I, I don't have enough money? Well, still in. Oh, and did I mention they have a master sommelier on staff? Did you know there's less than 300 master sommeliers in the entire world? Yeah, and he's the guy that paired the wine with my dinner last night, which was absolutely phenomenal. As you can imagine, they have a pretty ridiculous wine collection. And uh, these ones, Chateau Mouton Rothschild, 1984, 1985, 1966. I'm sure they've probably got some newer stuff that's better, but this will probably do as well. Another one of the coolest things about Koniki is the food. There's two main restaurants here. The one behind me, this is the beach restaurant because it's, well, it's on a beach. But far more interesting than the fact I'm at a restaurant that's on a beach is the fact that the executive chef for the club is James Watts. And James is a veteran of the French Laundry. You might've heard of it one of the best restaurants in the world. So this is one of the only places I know of, let alone a private club, but anywhere, where you can have a chef that trained at one of the very best restaurants in the world and pair that food with a master sommelier. Andy, he's awesome. He knows more about wine than anyone I've ever met, ever, literally. It's kind of mind blowing, but the food here is so, so good. They rotate the menu of each restaurant every two weeks. So every single week, there's going to be a new menu either here at the beach or at the clubhouse. The restaurant at the clubhouse with the views, it's spectacular. So despite the fact you're on an island and it can be difficult to get ingredients, they're using fresh produce, fresh meat, fresh seafood, and they're changing the menu on a regular basis based on what is in season, based on what is in stock, based on what is fresh. And that's pretty cool. But honestly, for all of the amazing things I have seen since I've been here, there's one thing that has stood out as more impressive than anything else, and that's simply the quality of the people. Every single person I've met, whether it's the guy that picked me up from the airport, all the way up to the CEO, everybody has seemed just genuine, truly genuine, truly interested in me and who I am and getting to know my story, and you wouldn't expect to see that at a place like this. And for the people that do buy in here and the people that do decide to join, the staff and the people here, they become friends, they become family, and you can see that everywhere you look. And if you are lucky enough to be a guest here, you're gonna get that exact same treatment. And you don't get that at every single club. So that's pretty special. And for me, more than all of the cool stuff, the great golf, the water sports, everything, that's the thing that stands out the most. So there it is, that's Koniki. Those are my favorite things about the club but there are so many more cool things about this place. It truly is one of the special places in the world of golf in here in Hawaii. My name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here, Breaking 80, where we do cool golf club reviews and golf product reviews and travel stuff. That sounds interesting to you. Maybe hit the subscribe button, go to breaking80.com slash hi. Get on our newsletter list. I think you're going to dig it. And I've only got about 24 hours left here at Koaniki and I don't want to waste it. So I'm gonna finish up this video and I'm going to go play some golf. I'm gonna go drink a cocktail. I'm gonna go snorkeling. I'm gonna go do all the things and just pray that a member sees this and invites me back one of these days. Fingers crossed. <laughs> See you later.